What's up YouTube, headphones and stuff, with another G-Shock video, this one being on the DW6900 SB-9. Um, so let's start off with the tin right away. Um, this is the 1289 module, so this tin for it, this is what I received it in, but it's actually not correct. Um, this would be the 3230 module, um, but 1289 module is the older one, and um, I believe this is what it should look like the tin and I actually like this tin better than the newer ones but whatever um let's get into the watch move this stuff aside here here's the actual watch um um people call it the mango because the color is kind of mango mango gold mango orange mango yellow whatever you would like to call it it's kind of a mixture of all of them Make sure to watch in 1080p so you can see every little detail. Sorry about the lighting, it's not the greatest. Doesn't do the watch complete justice, but um, still is a really cool um, color. Okay, so um, let's go through the different modes. Um, it has the alarm, the timer, the stopwatch, and just your regular hour time. Um, these do not have world time. This one, this watch, is Casio Japan. Here's the back plate. See the 1289 module. DW6900 SB. Um, let me give you a quick look at the backlight. Let me turn this light off here. It's a green. It's actually showing up kind of blue on my screen, but it's actually green, believe it or not. I don't know why. That's kind of weird. It's not showing up showing up blue on my screen. Um, but it's actually a lime green. Um Yeah, so that's about it on the watch. Um, if you like the video, you can check out some of my other videos on G-Shocks. Um, I believe this is my 21st G-Shock. I have videos of, on all of these. Um, right there. Let me turn the light back on. Right there next to the, um, green NB-3. That's where I keep this one. Because it kind of matches it in colorway. Um, yeah, but I also do headphones on, or <laughs> videos on headphones. I've done beats. So, yeah, subscribe, like, comment, rate, do whatever you want. See ya.